Hello guys, Laurelyn here again and today we're going to take a look at this new phone. This is the Huawei Nova 7 SE. Okay, so ito yung box guys. Aside sa phone, may laman tong 40 watt charger. May kasamang case, additional case, at earphones. Nasa 19,990 pesos yung price nito sa market. Available to sa Space Silver, Fresh Green, at Midsummer Purple. Overall guys, ang ganda ng build, ang ganda ng design, ang ganda ng placement ng buttons, at yung camera. Sobrang convenient din itong fingerprint scanner sa gilid. As for the display, it has 6.5 inches IPS LCD screen with 2400 by 1080 resolution, with 405 pixel density, and supports HDR10. As you can see guys, malinaw to, sobrang sharp, maganda yung details, and sobrang vivid ng kulay. At okay na okay din yung brightness nito para sa outdoor. Nasa taas din yung 16 megapixel front camera nito. Isa din sa nagustuhan ko dito ay yung screen light dahil hindi siya masakit sa mata at very useful sa mga low light situation. Moving on sa rear camera. Sa likod ay yung AI quad camera nito. Meron itong 64 megapixel main camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide angle, 2 megapixel bokeh, and 2 megapixel macro camera. At isa sa unique feature nito ay yung dual view video mode. Ito yung parehas na gagana at magre-record yung front and rear camera ng phone mo. Sobrang useful nito sa content creation and vlogging. Okay, move on tayo sa mga specifications. It has a Kirin 825G chipset, Mali G57 GPU, 8 gigs of RAM, 128 internal storage, 4000 milliamp, and supports 40 watt Huawei Supercharge. There is also App Assistant that will also boost the performance and some gaming features, so it's really one of the best phone for gamers and streamers. It uses EMUI 10.1 OS na napaka seamless at smooth. Given that, sobrang ganda and smooth ng gaming experience ko sa phone na to, kahit na naka-highest settings na to ah. Isa din sa nagustuhan ko ay hindi siya ganun umiinit, so sobrang convenient din ito sa gaming. Playing graphics extensive games such as PUBG works well on Huawei Nova 7 SE 5G. Performance is excellent, the gameplay is smooth and completely playable even at the highest graphics quality. As well as the Garena Free Fire, everything is smooth smooth and looks amazing. Moving on to Huawei App Gallery. This is the third biggest app platform globally, guys. Marami siyang apps and games dito at syempre dadami pa yung magiging content in the future. Aside from that, we also have Huawei Petal Search Widget, another way to download and install apps. A gateway to a million of apps. Over 90% of tap apps can be used on App Gallery and Petal Search, like Facebook, YouTube, and many more. And you can also use Phone Clone to seamlessly transfer files from Huawei to Huawei. Ganun lang kasimple guys, mag-search and install ng apps gamit yung App Gallery, Phone Clone, and Petal Search. There is no need to download Gmail or Yahoo Mail dahil pwede mo na rin isync yung mga mail mo sa pre-installed Huawei email. You can also seek assistance by calling Huawei Hotline, sending message to Huawei Facebook page, or visit the Huawei community. 5G is coming very soon. In fact, there is a broader 5G coverage in Manila. There's no need for smartphone users to change their SIM cards. They only need to switch to a 5G-enabled smartphone like Huawei Nova 7 SE 5G. Huawei Nova 7 SE 5G is the first 5G phone for the youth. And it is the most affordable 5G phone with advanced features and 64 megapixel 5 AI cameras. It is the best choice and now is the best time to buy 5G smartphone. And that's it guys. Mid-range phone lang ito pero sobrang ganda niya sa photography at sa gaming. Ang ganda ng experience ko sa gaming at saka sa photography. Malinaw na camera at magandang performance. Solid na screen quality at yung Huawei App Gallery. So kung plano mong bumili or mag-upgrade to new phone, mararecommend ko tong Huawei Nova 7 SE 5G. Again, this is priced at around 19,990 pesos. And that's it guys! Thank you so much for watching and kita-kit sa next video.